Although my association with the school journal, uh, it, it's a very long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, I did work for them uh, mainly in the 1980s. And it was I was teaching full time at the at the time, and so, and when I could, I would be squeezing in a picture book, uh-huh. um, and from time to time, I was approached by the school journal people, school publications they were called, and uh, asked if I had time to do a few illustrations for a short story, and so I wasn't asked very often. They didn't ask me very often, but um, I enjoyed enjoyed doing them because they introduced something that I wouldn't have naturally done, you know, a story. uh, I illustrated stories that I wouldn't naturally have picked out to do. It was all done by post, you see. I would receive something in the post, (laughs) and I would receive a copy of the story, and uh, a layout, the, sort of a, an idea of the sizes of the illustrations that give me it might send a bit of paper with the out with the actual dimension of the illustration drawn onto that piece of paper. Because you see, my own books required an enormous amount of time, an enormous amount of time and thought and pondering and all that sort of stuff, was, whereas the things I did for the school journals, I did them quite quickly. Um, there would be a couple of, the first The first stage is what, is what I said before, something would arrive in the post. It would be the story and an outline of the sizes of the illustrations and how many and perhaps how much I was going to be paid. Now, my next the next thing would be to do some rough pencil drawings and post them back to Wellington, and they would they would sort of uh, edit them if they needed to, and then they would post them back to me again, and I'd do the original artwork and then send the artwork through to them. As far as American illustrators go, I was very keen on Morris Sendak, and he used a lot of lines sometimes. Um, but there was a kind of a trend at the time amongst British illustrators to use a lot of line and coloured wash. And I think that's what I was trying to do. I, I, I was trying to be one of them. I was always hoping that maybe my work would be internationally accepted. And I thought if I started working in a kind of international British sort of style, then people overseas might think, oh, yeah, yeah, well, let's publish this stuff as well. Because really the the illustrations in the school journals have always been a really, really major part. That's what has made them so significant, really. Certainly in my life as a child, when we got them at school, when the school journal arrived at school, the old black and white editions that I remember, you know, the 1950s, um, the illustrations were always a huge attraction for me um, looking at those those school journals. I, I wanted desperately to be part of that world. I wanted to be included in that um world that I used to love as a kid, 